Hi, this is Simon from Lincolnshire in the UK, and you're watching Trucker Josh. So sit back, enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe. Good morning, people of planet Earth. Wherever else you might be watching this, leave a comment if you're somewhere else. We're here in uh, Calgary, Alberta. We're about to deliver this freight I got behind me. I got those, I don't know what they're called. They're like uh, mobile generator lights. Mobile, mobile generator lights. Let's go take a look. I'll show you in just a sec. We gotta deliver them just down the road here and then we're headed up to Edmonton and we gotta wait till tomorrow at 1 p.m to load a, a, like a big fuel tank that's going down to Bryan, Georgia. It's gotta be there next Thursday. So I got some time to stop at home on the way down. It's a four and a half day trip down from here. We're gonna be leaving all of this wonderful snow and white stuff behind. And I have a feeling that around Bryan, Georgia, there may be some palm trees, just saying. One can only hope, because in uh, uh, Bryan, Georgia is like a county, and I'm delivering it to a new Love's truck stop that's being built there. Uh, and is something ringing. I thought I heard a phone ringing. Well, that was weird. Someone calling you, Diesel? It's going down to Bryan, Georgia, which is right by Savannah, Georgia. Anyways, distractions. I'm like squirrel. And I know Savannah, Georgia has palm trees. I've been there. It's not fall out of the truck. What's wrong with me this morning? Jeez. Yeah, we're here at the Flying J. And this is all I got left on my trailer. These 10 Generac mobile lights, tower lights. That's all. Yeah. I'm gonna deliver those just around the corner here and uh, Make our way up to Edmonton. We got lots of time, so. Slowly make our way down the street here. This is Barlow Trail. I went to that Deerfoot Inn Casino yesterday when I got here in the evening for some supper. They have a nice, uh, uh, like a pub grill or whatever in there. I went in there, had some nice uh, fish and chips. And while I was in there, I figured, well, whatever, I'll put a $20 bill in the, in the slots there, eh? in like one of those really cheap machines where it's, you know, I won't lose a lot of money. I mean, I had 20 bucks, throw it in. I won 100 bucks. Huh. Cashed out and walked out. <laughs> Had my meal paid for, everything. I walked out of there richer than I walked in. That's the way you do it. I'm not a big gambler at all. I, if there's a slot machine there and if I have some extra cash in my pocket, I might, like I said, I would throw a 20 in there, see what happens, it's fun. But, uh, yeah, yeah that worked out. <laughs> Somewhere around here is my delivery point. Somewhere around here. What do I do here? I turn left? Okay, so I'll go around this corner here. This is an interesting way to build a road. Still makes more sense than anything in Winnipeg. <laughs> the beaver trails down by my creek on the property, they make more sense than the roads in Winnipeg. I think it's this building on the left here. Yeah, that'll be it. There's some generators down the street there. Turn left into, he just said turn right into the yard. So on Google, it looked like a kind of a tight space in there. Oh, and it's, the gate is closed. You have arrived. Well, I can't block the whole road here. Why is the gate closed?
Well, that literally took 10 minutes. So I'm back here at the Flying J, came back here to grab a coffee and uh, figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day, figure out my route, where I'm gonna stop. And we're gonna go to the Flying J on Pembina Road in Sherwood Park, which is Edmonton. I don't know what's going on here, but this guy doesn't want to really move. And he's right in the way. Might have to give him a honk sometime soon. What are you doing, bud? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, he just about got the honk. He started moving just in time. Just in time. Parks right in the middle of like the main thoroughfare of the parking lot. Look right there. Like, nah, who needs a parking spot? No one's parked here. Let's just park here. Pull the brakes. Oh yeah. I don't know why people are honking at me. So I just put in winter antifreeze or winter uh, washer fluid, pardon me, into our uh, into my into my truck here because yesterday. I was driving through minus 23 at some points there in Celsius, and my windshield washer fluid was freezing. So, used up the rest of that and put in winter stuff now. It's actually a really nice temperature here in Calgary right now. It's about, uh, say, plus 5 Celsius, so probably around, I don't know, 40 Fahrenheit? Somewhere around there. Not too bad at all. Let's get out there, let's get on the road. We have uh, just over a three hour drive up to Edmonton. We're gonna do our walk once we get there. I wanna make sure I get a parking spot at the Flying J. We're gonna be arriving there around 3.30 or four o'clock, whenever, depends how many times we stop on the way up. So we should get a parking spot, but usually by six o'clock, that whole parking lot's just packed. Just like this one was yesterday, remember? We got here at what, quarter after seven? It was just packed, I had to park alongside the driveway. Alberta really needs some more truck stops. The ones they have are very nice, don't get me wrong. Need a few more around Calgary and Edmonton. Just arriving in Edmonton now. Traffic is moving abnormally slow, in my opinion. All lanes. There's a couple of people way at the front, I can see them, that are just driving 20 under the speed limit for no reason. All side by side. As they do, you know. It's a thing people do. 
for those of you who don't know, I guess I can let you know that if you're going slow, move to the right. If people want to pass you, move to the right. If you are passing other people, use the left lane and then return to the right lane after passing. How about that? And in a three lane situation like this, leave that left lane open for people who actually want to go faster than you. Uh, I know, right? It's a revolutionary thought for some people. I understand, I understand. It might be a lot to take in. Just gotta take it in slow, take a deep breath. Get out of the left lane. All right? Don't drive side by side. One of my pet peeves, I'm trying to get back into that right lane there, but there's someone beside me. One of my pet peeves of driving is when people drive the exact same speed limit as me and just sit right beside me. So I speed up to get in front of them and they speed up. I slow down to go behind them and they slow down. I know that they're not even realizing that they're doing it because they're just trying to keep up with traffic, but whoo, nothing more frustrating than that. Then you turn your signal on and then they just sit there. Now you know they can see your signal, but they just sit there. Oh, one of my pet peeves, one of my pet peeves. So there you go. There you go, some trucker Josh knowledge and wisdom. Soak it up, children. <laughs> There's the sign, welcome to Edmonton, Alberta's capital city. Is that their slogan? It's kind of a lame slogan. You know, Calgary, the southern city in Alberta, their slogan is the new west or the heart of the new west. Calgary, the heart of the new west. It's a little different in Edmonton, it's Edmonton. This is our capital city, eh? Alberta's capital. So this is where government sits in Alberta. Where am I supposed to go here? Oh, I'm gonna turn right? Okay, keep left? What? Okay, so I gotta keep left, but then I gotta turn right. Okay, Karen, don't lead me wrong here. I'm serious. Okay, so it's gonna be three lanes. I wanna get over to the right. Signal on. Nobody beside me checking all my mirrors. You never know, people are sneaky. And at this time, like my, my mirrors are very dirty now because it's such a dirty day outside. So I can't always see, if you don't have your headlights on, I can't even see if you're beside me. So here's another tip for you. This one's free. One kilometer, keep to Karen, the on. this is important, don't interrupt me. This is important. Keep to the right in 470 meters. Turn your lights on. There you go, that one's free. Turn your lights on. It doesn't matter if it's daytime. Always, always have your lights on because my mirrors are dirty now because of all the road dirt. If people are beside me and don't have their lights on, I have no idea that they're there. No idea. In 500 meters, keep to the left on Highway 216 Anthony Henday Drive and then keep to the right in 470 meters. All right, well, keep to the left and then keep to the right. Okay, gotcha, Karen. You better know what you're talking about because I didn't double check your work. I just trusted you. Well, it's a bad idea, I know, but I'm taking our relationship to the next level here. Next level of trust, Karen. Don't wreck it. In 300 meters, keep to the right on Highway 216 East Anthony Henday Drive. Why am I stuck behind this guy? Speed limit is 80. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Yeah, nobody beside me? going around you then. Your lane ends anyway. I'm gonna get in front of you. I don't get paid by the hour. Okay, so we're going around to the east side of Edmonton where we're gonna stop at the Flying J. We can hook into the internet, watch some Netflix. One kilometer, keep to the left on Highway 216 East. And have a shower. We're gonna go for a walk as soon as we get there. Get that out of the way for the day. Making good choices. Does my lane end? My lane ends, doesn't it? My lane ends. Gotta get in this lane. There we go. There we go. In 500 meters, keep to the left on Highway 216 East. All the pumps are busy. And you know what? Every single one of these trucks that I see parked in here, none of them are even fueling, except for this guy. So I came in behind this guy because he's obviously gonna move first. The rest of these guys all just parked in the pumps and went inside. All of them. All of them diesel. I can already hear the comments today. You're doing a lot of whining today.
today, Trucker Josh. A lot of wine. Yes, I'm whining. Today was a day that merited some whining. Ah, <sighs> people. My show here on YouTube is uh, partly about the whining. That's, that's sort of part of the vlog. I like pointing out when people are maybe doing something that they don't even realize is not very courteous, is not very nice, and is very selfish. And very, maybe they don't even realize it, you know? Maybe no one's ever told them, and this is the first time they're hearing, like, oh, people don't like it when I block the pumps for 20 minutes and go inside and have a shower and eat lunch? Oh, I, use, I do that all the time. Maybe I should stop doing that. Yes, you should. Yes, you definitely should. But other than this, it's, it's still been a good day. It's still been a good day. I just like to point out these things and complain about them because then, you know, a few people hear me every time. A few new people hear me every time and they didn't realize, oh, that's not the proper etiquette or that's not the proper way to do it. Okay, I'll do it different next time. There's always somebody, so that's, that's who I'm talking to. That's who I do this for. So I just gotta wait. This guy's just hanging up the pumps. So that's a good sign. Uh, he's got a flat bed, so he's not gonna need to fuel up his reefer. Oh, now he's gonna wash his mirrors and windows after he was done fueling. Why didn't you do that while you were fueling? <laughs> yes, you are absolutely right, person in the comments, typing away. Why does he complain so much? He's always complaining. His vlogs used to be so much better. Stop complaining, Josh. All right, Diesel. No, that's not what they sound like, I know, but. All right, buddy, come on, let's go. Oh, we're moving. Hallelujah. Don't park in front of the pumps. There's no way you need to park there yet. Don't do it. Don't do it. You're going to do it. You're totally going to do it. Okay. All right, buddy, just don't take too long. I trust you. I'm trusting you. Don't block me in. I'm gonna go fuel and then find a parking spot. Nice Kenworth off to the left there. <whistles> Lowered everything. Oh, that's nice. I want that with a studio sleeper. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's something positive. I don't complain about everything. That is a beautiful truck. I hand out compliments too every now and then. Nice trailer too. You just need to wash it. Okay, let's see if we can find a parking spot here. Is this one right up front here? Is this a handicap spot? I think it is. I'm not gonna take it just in case. Yeah, it's handicap parking only. Yeah, okay, that's why nobody's parked there. It's got a blue blue square on it. Okay. Now let's go see what's what's available for the trucker Josh and the Weasel. I see one over there, it's a nice spot. Okay. I like to be in a spot where I can just drive straight out the driveway in the morning and that way you know that the people who back in beside you will have quite an easy time, so they're not going to hit you. There we go. Way out in the back. How about that? How about that? See, like, straight ahead there? That's a perfect spot. You just, you never know who your neighbors are going to be, though. I don't want to park beside that guy. That guy's got a reefer. This, man, that Volvo's been there a while. How long do you leave your truck here for, bud? Oh, is that corner spot open? No way. Is it open? It's open? No way. Oh, sweet. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. It's mine. Dibs. Dibs. Backing in. Sweet. I know, right? I'm excited too. What a sweet spot. Look at this. No neighbors over here. No neighbors over there. A bobtail in that spot there, which shouldn't be there. You can see it in the mirror, right? Diesel, can you move your head? Can you move your head? There you go. There's a bobtail in, in beside me there, which has been parked there for weeks by the looks of it. Not very nice, but at least we won't have any neighbors there, right, Diesel? <laughs> and those of you asking about my poppy, there it is, right there. It's there all year round, 365 days a year is Remembrance Day. Shut the truck off. So yes, this is where we're gonna spend the night. Sometimes I don't always like being in the back corner like this because I'm worried someone's gonna come and steal my fuel. 
but I noticed that there's a big light right above my truck here shining down on my truck. So as long as that light works, we'll be nicely lit. And hopefully no one steals their fuel. I need to get locking fuel caps. I keep forgetting, but those are important. There are douchebags out there who will come and steal your fuel at night because they're cheap, they're mean, they're evil, and they're bad. But hey, bad people exist in this world, right? That's why we have to try to be good people because if the good people don't do anything, then the bad people automatically win. Isn't that how the saying goes? All that it takes for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. So you just gotta try to be that good person. I'm not tired at all. So it's uh, 3 30 p.m. here. Still got a lot of caffeine in my system. My blood pressure was really good this morning, by the way, speaking of caffeine. And really good last night as well. Like it was something like 119 over 74 this morning and 118 over 78 last night. So it was actually really good. So I don't know what was causing my high blood pressure, but we're, we gotta keep monitoring it. I have an appointment next month, uh, early next month to get uh, my family doctor, my doctor to give me a, a full look over. I gotta get a full physical, full checkup, fun stuff. Oh no, somebody's idling with a, an engine fan. Was that you? Oh no, 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 it's that international down over there, I think. This guy, this guy here's not idling. That international down there. Just so you guys know, here's a little tip from a guy who's been trucking for more than 10 years. When you park at a truck stop, if you want a quiet night, don't park beside an idling international or an idling Peterbilt because their engine fan kicks on every three minutes and for some reason internationals and Peterbilts have very very obnoxiously loud engine fans so you have this like kick on for one minute or so every three minutes drives a person insane who's just trying to sleep I'm a little picky when I want to sleep you, you guys know this you know me I want a quiet night that's why we park back here where we have no neighbors Perfect, and I can walk the weasel right here. And hey, if this was summertime, I could even go for a dip and swim in there. I wouldn't recommend that. I, I've never actually done that, and I wouldn't. But hey, there's a pond right next to me. So thanks for watching today. Thanks for listening to me complain. Thanks for all the comments talking about me complaining. I appreciate it. Uh, thanks for all you complainers out there who are gonna start complaining about me complaining. Hey, we can all complain together. We'll have a little complaining circle back and forth so go down below leave me a comment let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you liked the vlog if you hated the vlog give it a thumbs down if you liked it share it with your friends so they can enjoy it too if you hated it share it with your friends so that they can see how terrible it was as well spread the word either way i'll see you guys tomorrow tomorrow we pick up that tank that's headed to georgia